attacking what? Uh, Steve Jupiter, Stevie Mute Muscle Blood, Bear Brain Worm, Daisy. Daisy's pretty good. So is Billy. Um, hmm. I kind of want to name him Carmen San Diego. Bobby Robotron 2084. I mean, true. I mean, where in the world, Jet? We're in Jupiter, I suppose. Something's gone wrong. All right, so this really is Jupiter Hell. Um, it is a turn-based traditional roguelike. If you die, you die. I've got one activatable ability by pressing five, which negates pain, which gives me an AMD buff. Um, and also heals me slightly. Uh, this class also, uh, between floors, heals ever so slightly. And um, there is something that you need to know about how this game works real quick. Um, in the... Uh, did it, it didn't save my control scheme. Yeah. Game, why, why you gotta be this way? Um, in the actual... What's the word? Uh, perks system. There are five perks for each class that are unique that you have to kind of aim for. And these perks are called master traits. They're basically just like the end game that you want to get to. Um, for the marine, which is what we're playing, there's Onslaught, Bulletstorm, Army of Darkness, Vampire, and Survivor. They all give basically a new class to the character. You just came up, what, what's your good suggestion? I'd love to know your good suggestion, even though it's late. Can always bank it for later. So I'm just going to go back to my keybinds. Input settings, key bindings. North. Why? Oh, is it? Okay, it's cause the, 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 the keypad was like, What's the word? I had numlock off. So reloading lets him move. I can swap characters. Very scared about standing right next to this barrel. Just gonna wait for him to move. Just gonna wait next to turn. Just fire that. Got him. Can tell I got him because his ammo's there now. I can move down. Uh, it's grid based, so I'm locked to a grid. I've got cardinal directions of, as movement options. It's kind of like if you're playing XCOM, but you're just controlling one dude. I was thinking I might close and reopen it with OpenGL, because maybe it's the Vulcan renderer that this can be done like. But it's fine. Just a little bit laggy. That or I could just turn the graphics down, which is a bit offensive, but... Eh, it's fine. Looks like the what the UI looks like the PCs you played Oregon Trail on. Apparently, this UI was supposed to be like temporary, but also up in the top here, you can see my chance to hit and all that nonsense. So I got 96% chance to hit, so I have no risk of getting XCOM'd. I could heal myself with adrenaline, or I could save that. We now have a shotgun as well. That's my gate down to the next floor. Pick up more ammo for the pistol. There's two dudes left, we can tell, because they're up on the minimap. When there's only three characters left, it highlights them on the minimap. I should probably reload this shotgun. It's one and two. You get splash damage with the shotgun. Shotguns ignore cover, but don't have much range. There's often a shortcut to being XCOM. You are correct. My question is, which of the master traits do I want to work towards? Onslaught's pretty fun. It lets you do the literal version of, like, say hello to my little friend. Basically, if you have a fully automatic rotary or automatic rifle, it doesn't stop shooting until you run out of bullets, basically. So you start shooting, and then you just move, and it fires while you move. So that's pretty fun. Bulletstorm uh, lets you shoot more bullets with each shot, <laughs> which is especially fun with, like, um, dual-wielding pistols and such. 
Army of Darkness just turns uh, shotguns into sniper rifles and rocket launchers into Lamau guns. Um, and uh, Vampire makes you heal when you do damage to things. Uh, it's more of a melee class than like a ranged class. And then Survivor's just boring. Gives you a lot of health regen. Yes, pretty is bullet storm. I mean, well, okay. So initially, fire time is one hundred twenty-five percent with half with um. Uh, and then on this uh, level two, you get an extra shot for automatics, pistol and revolver. Fire times one hundred and ten percent, and then um, reload ammo consumption is uh, twenty percent for SMGs and autos. So you use less ammo and you shoot way faster. Army of Darkness is still the best. Army of Darkness is hysterical. It really is. But, like, I've certainly had runs where I build for Army of Darkness and then don't get any, like, power-ups that are any good at all for it. As good as it can be, I've definitely gotten screwed over by using that one. Sixty-five percent more bullet per bullet. I I know what you're referencing, but we can work towards Army of Darkness. The game will detect me. Um, although I think I may have just broken it. Did I? No. Okay. Um. They, although there there is a pretty good chance I would jump from. To something else we'll see it depends on what guns we get but uh in order to to level up army of darkness i need furious and reloader so let's just start off with reloader because it just makes my weapons reload faster which is good especially considering i already have a shotgun i am going to restart the game in a moment though because i'm really curious um about something that i would like to test save and quit i want to see if the open gl renderer runs better because the Vulcan renderer running kind of terribly. Fortunately, this game loads extremely quickly. Oh, wow, that is a million times better. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> Don't use Vulcan renderer on Linux, apparently. Um, I have a crowbar, which makes all of the voice lines stop doing things, which is my favorite reference in this game. Turns you into a silent protagonist. Ooh. You for real? Just automed 10 and tenacity right off the bat? So these are like equipable perks, basically. Power amps. I love how I have a 100% resistance to EMPs. Holy shit, somebody gifted subs today. Thank you very much. Pack smack. Means a lot. There was a couple at the very beginning, but it's been a while since then. Thank you so much, man. You are a river to your people. There you go. Linux driver quality varies a lot. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm aware it's a me problem, not the game's problem. It did decide that my vertical monitor was the best monitor to run on initially, though, which was a little odd. This is a weird room. Also, I haven't looked at any patch oh, notes or right. anything. I don't know if I should. Because I don't even know if you've added stuff. Hmm. Pop, pop. Yeah, I, I don't know how many bullets God, a crowbar would get per bullet. Maybe you could deflect one bullet if you got really lucky? Ow, I'm on fire. Still on fire. Ow, I'm still on fire. Ow, I'm still on fire. Fucking reload already. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's okay, I had adrenaline. Dr. Phineas, thanks for the five pack of gift subs. Hey, chat. If you just got gifted a sub, you should use the money that you just saved on Twitch subscriptions. And, um, go buy this game. Because shotguns ignore cover, I can just pop him and pop him. I saw that door open, I was like, hmm. 
choo choo, motherfucker. Are we close to a train? We need two more. Now we're close to a train. X100. Hype. Hype. Trying to just attract things if there's stuff close by, because they do like loud noises. So how's the day been? Epion. Because I gotta say that Jupiter Hell Classic is one of my most anticipated releases coming up. What did you just do to me? Dude just like threw a fireball at me and then died. Well, I think he set himself on fire though. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, that's what happened. That explains a lot. I got hit with a grenade launcher. Go figure. Let's just kill you. I was kind of thinking that guy would open that door, but he just doesn't seem interesting. Ow. Why do you splash damage? There's shitloads of confusion all around. What? I, I guess that's a good thing. I would like that grenade launcher, please, and thank you. Somebody bit me? I mean, Charlie didn't bite me, that's for sure. Uh, no, I do not want to initiate a purge, but what's close by? So this screen uh, gives you hints on what you can find in specific, like, alternate routes. Callisto Mines Level 2 has a defense mechanism, apparently. Uh, there's a machine in Valhalla Terminal 1. Huh? Yeah. Um, and uh, there's a vault in Callisto Level 6. And, ah, I need to unlock the elevator to get into Callisto Hub. Although I don't even know where I'm headed. So let's recon. You know, I'll be completely honest. It's been long enough. I can't actually remember what happens in Valhalla Terminal. So why don't we go to Valhalla Terminal? I can't remember what the puzzle is either. What well, happens when you don't play a video game for a year? But yeah, I, I trust it's good confusion then. This? Um, I mean, it's not as absurd as NetHack, but yes, that is what this is. Except more, you know, Doom-ish. Wow, kind of surprised I killed him. There's three dudes left, one just south through here. Two up here. Dude's got a riot shield. Way to turn. Pop him. Walking through here and pop. Done. Uh, it's on sale right now. I think it's the deepest sale it's ever had. And thanks for the almost hype train chat. I do appreciate the attempt. All right. And also, thank you so much just for the gift subs and whatnot. Hype trains are just silly FOMO nonsense anyway. Um, hmm. I think that's all that I need to pick up from this floor. So that's the mines. I'm going to go Valhalla Terminal. Many people think that Jupiter, uh, that uh, Doom the Roguelike disappeared and, and instead is JRC, or JHC. What, like, I mean, the original is open source. Like, what, how could it just disappear? So they think that you're trying to, like, erase history? It got severely updated? Yeah. Hmm. For daring to play it unspoiled the way that NetHack's ilk will... <laughs> yes. Um... I, yeah, I don't know. Net net hack's just a bit too mean for me. Pop. You too. Any more takers? And this game does have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds oh, of hours worth of content. New toys. Got an accuracy mod pack. Hmm. Huh. Question, like, 
because of the branding problems with Doom the Roguelike, are you allowed to like just openly post it on the Steam page? Or is that like is like basically is the tile set an issue? Is the question? Because I thought it was all just like generic enough that it's not an issue. Yeah, you're you're doing the dwarf fortress thing basically. <laughs> um, I kind of just want to throw this on my armor. Swift painkiller increases pain reduction per turn by fifty percent. Reduces dodge penalties. So we'll go with that. Give me a bit more dodge here. Don't like that those guys explode. I'm just doing a lot of wink wink stuff, but all the art and the names are based off of Jupiter Hell Not Doom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean you I, you can tell from just playing it. What is it getting a different soundtrack or are you just using the Jupiter Hell soundtrack? Spent like a good 50 hours on it and loved it and uh, the shit out of it. But you're not very good at it. Just crank down the difficulty. Like, I'm playing on medium. I haven't played in a while. Uh, but just crank down the difficulty. Um, it's doing good. Tele. Uh, Dwarfs was good. We are playing this because they just announced a, uh, well, a remake of Doom the Roguelike. And also have patched Doom the Roguelike. So you can go, like, play Doom the Roguelike with more content now. I'm just here because I'm trying to help the studio stay funded, though. It might get a lower fi version of the Jupiter Hell soundtrack if Roland finds time. That'd be nice. Bored now. He's bored now, apparently. All right, so we're working towards Army of Darkness. Literally just need Furious 1. What does Furious 1 do again? Kind of want to just keep cranking into Reloader for the ones. Furious increases my Fury capacity. Duh. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's just keep cranking into Reloader. Just having some fun. Oh, I was in the wrong place on the keyboard. Ow. How dare you shoot me, you douchebag. Well, I need those and that uh, shoddy ammo. Uh-oh. Somebody just walked through that door. It's okay. I got a grenade launcher. And they can just pop. It's nice of the game to still credit me for getting that kill, even though he killed himself. I think somebody's barbecuing something outside and it smells really tasty. It is that time of year, though. Ow. Oh, didn't see you. Which should have seen him on the mini map, but. Although it's more like a. It's one of the biggest mini maps on Earth, in all, in all honesty. Okay, let's do that. So you said earlier that you want to get to 7,000 wishlists. What, what happens at 7,000 wishlists? I'll be honest, I don't fully understand how Steam's nonsense works. Oh, hey, look, it's a watcher. Squirrely little fucker. I, for I forgot that you added those things. You are one of the people that kind of backdoored it. Uh, you... you they played Jupiter Hell first after a friend who was a huge into DRL highly, highly recommended it. And you never got around to playing Doom RL? I'm just excited to play Doom RL with a new UI. That's that's what I'm actually excited for. Because old school Doom RL was just kind of clunky. Apparently it's the current cutoff to be featured on the popular upcoming around release. Okay, that makes sense. Coming back over the shoddy. Got the shoddy ammo. Wanted to get into cover, so I closed the door and stepped into cover. These guys repair themselves while they are in their smoke. No. Oh. Help if I actually shot it. Instead of shooting next to it. Oh. 
It's one way to notify everybody that a party's arrived. Oh, hey, look, it's a, it's a rare or drop a gun with pre-installed perks. What it, though? Critical 40. Oh, it's got extra crit damage. Increases critical hit chance. Yeah. Wasn't it space to wait by default? I mean, I have it set to numpad 5, but I don't think that's the default. Well, I know what I'm doing later in the week. The problem is, is like, I've got... Apparently, every game is releasing right now, Appion. Like, Odd Realm is releasing. This released... You, you, you pat or sorry this is on sale you, you you patched the other one and announced the other one and uh yeah it's just everything's releasing right now why is there, there's got there's like super long dead periods and then a bunch of other stuff approaching infinity got a new ui that i want to try because i've been meaning to play that too cogmine got an update and i can play cogmine now which is bad i was playing that on my laptop the other night i was just like oh no I can read Cogmine's UI now. Although, I have to literally do the most zoomed in option, which hides most of the UI elements, which is probably really bad, but for like playability's sake, but. I'll say, Bob. What's Jupiter Hell Classic? It's Doom the Roguelike with a definitely not gonna get them sued patch over top of it that's gonna be for sale on Steam. DCSS? I wouldn't call that really old school, though. Because, like, DCSS, yeah, it's it, it plays like it's old school, but it's not that old. Yeah, I don't know. I have this problem, chat, and I've talked about this many times. I play a lot of games that all literally can take thousands and thousands of hours of your time. And when you play lots of games that can take thousands and thousands of hours of your time, you don't have much time. It's kind of a problem. Like, genuinely, it's kind of a problem. Also, I want to play more Rift Wizard, but that's besides the point. Maybe one pistol with precise. I think I'll just keep this rifle. The problem I used to have with streaming this game was I would play it so fast that people wouldn't notice that, like, I would play it so fast that people wouldn't be able to register that it was a turn-based game. And it's still, to this day, I have to force myself to not play super fast because it's just so smooth and it lets you play that fast if you want to. But a lot of the difficulty in this game is positioning. And timing. And just careful enemy evasion. But when you get later on, it becomes more about, you know, activatables and stuff. All right, we're just going to walk away from you. Speed chess with guns. I, I mean, it's more like speed XCOM with... <laughs> Right. Oi. This is going way less terrible than I thought it was going to initially. Probably because I'm still used to playing on whatever the second highest difficulty is. Uh, yes, because then people think they're buying a game that they're not buying. Right? Like, from my perspective, I think that's a good thing. But, like, usually you're trying to explain what the game is that you're playing, right? No, I won't forgive you. How, how dare you post things in my chat. The hell. Um, no, I don't want that. I do want this, though. And I do want that, and I do want that. Although the other one had a perk on it. Eh, you know what? I'll actually keep the other armor, because it does have a perk on it. Mm, 
I'm gonna swap to the grenade launcher. Hit that guy who's also got a grenade launcher. I like your grenade launcher. I take your grenade launcher and I raise you my grenade launcher. I just slowly. Yeah. Set yourself on fire, you psycho. There you go. This reminds you of Space Hulk. Aesthetically, it's kind of got some similarities similarities to Space Hulk, yeah. I think it's like the camera perspective is very similar to a lot of Space Hulk property games. I don't actually think that the watchers are aggressive. I'm pretty sure they just like look at you funny. That's about it. And just swap over the shot and go pop. Ow. And you too. Crypt beer. That wasn't the shoddy, it was the um, grenade launcher. I, I fucked up, but it's fine. Uh, Nixie, thank you very much for the 23rd month. Welcome back. It's good to have you around. Where you need to join meetings? Oh, no. I hope you survive said meetings. I think I might just give myself health. See you in hell, fuckers. In this. Because in this, you have the option to heal yourself, extract a med kit, grab a stim pack, or just increase your health by five. I'm just going to do that. Because currently, how many med kits am I sitting on? Yeah, I've got five med kits. I am still playing on a pretty easy difficulty. We're only playing on medium, so... I need to remind myself of this. That's Callista Rift. I think we're going to the next one, though, right? Oh, never mind. I missed the mines. Pah. Could just go to the military barracks. Hmm. To those of you who've played this game before, what do you think? Military barracks or rift? Oh, did it hit 50,000 views on the Godly Tombs video? I need to look. Apparently, Godly Tombs hit 50,000 views, which is kind of nuts, actually. I haven't looked all day, so. Yeah, it did. Hot damn. Still climbing. Christ. What's the bonuses of each? I can't remember. <laughs> I'd have to look at it. It's been a while. Um... I think Callisto Rift is the one that you can get poison immunity, and Military Barracks just has a bunch of loot. I uploaded a video which is about an hour and 15 minutes long, yeah, both, which is, um, how do I word this? An entire Thor Fortress, Fortress, like six streams worth, about 50 hours worth of footage crammed down into about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, and it, is doing very well. Yeah, but Rift is harder. Um, yeah, okay. We'll go Rift. At least I remember Rift being harder. I may also be misremembering. Is there things I haven't grabbed that on the minimap yet? Okay, you're, you're done. Did I grab the thing that's over here? Yes, I did. Okay. It's not a Rick roll, you swear. You know, most people have the ability to preview links now, too. Oh, great. So this map has exalted summons. Um, you see those? Wait, no. Okay, it's not. It's not immunity. Can't remember what the perk is. So those little pentagrams on the ground. I need to step on them. If I don't step on them all in 120 seconds, uh, a bunch of scary things come out of them, and th then I might die. 
Probably not, but I, I might die. Oh, hey, now that's a grenade launcher. Swap back over the rocket launch to the shotgun and reload shoddy. Melee range. So I got 97 seconds to step on the rest of these. That's one. Let's go for two. Need to reload. I level up to level five. I think I've got everything for Army of Darkness. Okay, I just need Furious. That's all I need. I do reload really quickly, though. Okay, so that's two portals. Uh, no, maybe actually it is. <laughs> it, is it is the gas immunity. This is just a completely unrelated... random... effect that we got on this map. Staring at the mini map to guide me to these. Man, fuck this thing in particular. Yeah, I agree. Fuck that thing in particular. It's also resilient. Out ammo. I'm out of ammo for this gun now. It's one. Hey, yay, yay. Space DF? More like. <sighs> fuck. <laughs> Of course, like, the turn I get to it, it closes. Um, well, it's not space DF. <laughs> it's a space traditional roguelike. Also, this map is too long for the uh, ability screen. I think I should short make that smaller a little bit because it looks kind of ugly, even though it's nice for me. Display settings. Is it display settings? No. It's UI and effects settings. Um, hmm. He's armored. Shotgun. Hmm. This one's done. Got him. Gaiman's good, Trevor. We are now an army of darkness. Um, so slash weapons and impact launchers get converted to pierce damage. So simply put, shotguns are Okay, this game is funny because pierce damage, like, negates armor, right? Like, in a lot of games. However, like, knives do pierce damage, so some of the best ways to kill, like, a super armored, like, mech is just stab it with a, po with a pocket knife. <laughs> but, like, now shotguns are considered pierce damage, basically. Is this on Steam? Yep, it's also on the daily deal on Steam. It's it, This is a game I've streamed almost 500 hours of. Um, I don't stream it as much these days, but the uh, developer of it... Um, Chaos Forge or Epion, if he, I think he's still in chat, um, just announced a remake of the game that this game is the successor to. Um, also, the fact that they're patching the open source free version again, which is called Doom the Roguelike, um, which is getting converted to a Jupiter Hell levels of um, accessibility and playability instead of being a fan made roguelike from 20 years ago. <laughs> And that is an Enviro pack. No fucking room. No fucking room. I was waiting for that to happen. Swap out my helmet. This is a big ass map. Do not need all of this ammo. And I can use this power mod pack. Uh, I kind of want to hold it until I get something better. What does the um, JS perk do again? Because the armor here has special perks on their gear. Okay, so we've got plus 15% crit chance. I think I'm going to take this armor. And... What do I get for putting power armor? Bleed immunity, extra inventory slot. Let's do bleed immunity. Yeah, but that's hard to remember to say out loud, though. Have you tried to say that out loud and explain what that means to a person yet? And I'm just going to increase my health again. You own this and you have never installed it. Well, now there's there's never been a better time. But that is also the most like I am a Steam account. I have a Steam account statement. You could possibly say. 
Holy crap, that's a lot of multi-tools. Are you sure you want to open the gas pipeline? Yes. Why did it... Game, you're an asshole. Why is it immediately directly on top of my face? I'm just going to go explore up here real quick. You've never installed like 400 Steam games. Yeah, so you're a normal Steam user. Like video game license hoarder. It likes you? I mean, at least something does. Evening, SCJ. Hey, bullet just flew past my head. Out of ammo. Got him. Fortunately, if you get the gas valve earlier in this zone, get rid of some shit. it's actually pretty easy to just, like, clear out a lot of enemies with it. Because <laughs> they tend to just kind of, you know, die when they touch the gas. Kind of fun how that works. Just give me a accuracy mod pack. And I'm actually going to charge it by one and create a second mod pack. Let's Don't do another bulk roll. pack. These are um, power-ups, which can be put onto my weapons. So Shift-G puts it onto my weapon. Remove your face from play and face will be safe from drop of it onto your space. That's a Matt Damon thing? I, I don't even, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, increases pain reduction on my armor. And up here, I put this on the shoddy. Auto re reload weapon upon swapping to it. Swap time decreased. There we go, we'll go with that. Fucking empty. So it's very, like to swap to the shotgun now is 0.18 seconds. Which is funny, because actually if I'd taken, if, if I had both of those power-ups on that shotgun, it would be faster to swap to off and back this. onto the shotgun to reload it than it would be to just reload it. Carrying too much shit. Oh boy. Carrying too much shit. Yeah, I know. Thank, th thanks, for the, thanks, thanks for adding that. I, I needed that. Okay, I can reload the grenade launcher again. We're in an ad. We'll wait. You had fun trying to update your graphics driver and kudo on Linux. I had to <laughs> flash my, or I almost had to flash my motherboard recently uh, because of a failed update. That was fun. I had to like take my entire computer apart and pull the battery out and like trip a thing. It was a good time. Also, sorry I didn't see you in the YouTube chat first, SCJ. <laughs> It's been a bit quiet over there for the past few hours. It was pretty active at the start, though. I, like, fast enough that I wasn't able to keep up with it. Hey, that guy's got him. Okay, have fun, you two. They're having a party back there. I'm just gonna walk away. There's something about enemies in video games friendly firing each other that's just amazing and will never stop being amazing. Chat, what do you think? Should I pull the, the gas pipe right now or should I wait? Wait, okay, this is not great. I'm on fire. He's on fire! Do it, you say? Okay. Well, something's dying. Fortunately, I still get XP for it. That chest may be a write-off. Angry green clouds coming for me. All right, well, it moved away from that chest, so that's nice. Tactical visor, which it comes with an aim assist. Eh, I'm using shotguns. Who needs aim? This is the game soundtrack, yes. 
gonna repair my armor real quick. That is a rocket. But I don't have a rocket launcher, so. I do, however, have a shotgun. And SCJ wants you to post Pierce chat. Blood for the blood god. Entry to the rift. So I've opened both of the gas valves. What did they dig out here? I probably should have actually put the game on hard. This is one of those games where I always underestimate how good I am at it still and how much muscle memory is going to kick in the second I start playing. But it's okay. It doesn't really make a visual difference to you guys. But it does make these early levels a little bit on the easy side. Okay, so I have, I have this thing called an Enviro Pack in my inventory. If shit gets bad, I will use the Enviro Pack. The Enviro Pack makes me immune to environmental effects until it wears off. A bunch of stuff's dying back there. I have to walk all the way around. Oh my god. Can I even get through this? Eh, him go fast. I am your username now. See? This game's turn-based, but I still go fast. Okay, I can. We're good. Oh god! Okay, it's fine. I think the cops are coming for me. I suddenly hear a whole bunch of sirens. I'm joking, of course, but... When you hear those sounds, those screams, those are the imps dying to the poison clouds. Fortunately, it's not me dying to the poison clouds, because then I'd be going, ah! Which, you know, not great. Open bunker storage. I can't remember if it's one or two switches I need to flip. You're broke again? Good for you. Proud of you. Fortunately, you knew the risks and only invested what you were willing to lose, and what you were willing to lose was your entire it was the entirety of your life savings. Okay, so that purple door I need to open. There's two switches. Come on. And also these outlines that the characters have are optional. I just have them on because it makes playing the game easier. Hey! God. Okay. Time to use the Enviro Pack. Is that effect new? I don't recall that effect from before. Got 25 turns left on the Enviro Pack. 22, 21, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 5, 14, 13, 12, 7, 6. It's fine. We can get through. Eh. Okay. Well, not without me getting poisoned for four turns, but hey, it's only four turns. I can just use adrenaline and power through. I'm sure there's a lesson about it. There, there's definitely a lesson about um, degenerate gambling and investing. I killed something. I think I'm going to grab... Um, hmm, it's 28 plus adrenaline damage, uh, adrenaline damage bonus. Adrenaline to damage bonus. I... Ooh, crits. Uh, base damage on consecutive shots. Tough as nails. Extra armor. I think I'm just going to take tough as nails. We're just going to... Going to go into being strong that way. Now, you see that really, really, really icky, scary looking poison cloud back there, chat? What, I, what would you say if I told you that I was about to jump into it? Actually, need to use a med kit. That's better. What is this madness? You uh, involuntarily let the gas into your lungs, and now if I go to my inventory and I go this way, um, you can see under resistances down at the bottom. I now have a hundred percent resistance to poison. This is true. It's just a whole lot smaller of a loss, I would say, at that point. This one's done. And the game noticed me, as you would expect it to, and it's noticed that 
I have shotgun perks, so it gave me a good shotgun. How cool is that? I can also pick up this shotgun, the one that I had previously, and I can dismantle it. And now I have the extra perks to put on it. Specifically that bulk mod. So, I now have apparently no head armor. What? Oh, because I just dropped it. Um, I now have a shotgun with a swap harness that decreases swap time by 75%. It's barbed, so it applies a bleeding status effect. Critical, 40, which increases the uh, critical hit chance. Slowdown, which debuffs biological enemies with, uh, with, with the slowdown status, reducing their movement speed by 50%. I've been like quietly like leaking that like Doom the Roguelike is getting a patch for the last three months, it feels like. Yeah, let's just increase my health. It's fine. A gift for me. Oh. 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 Well, I guess I get to break down this armor too. I can't even remember what Shadow Cloak does. I don't actually think I know what it does. Um, I need to charge you twice. One, two. Dismantle. Because I don't actually think I've gotten this one before. This looks nice. <laughs> uh, Shadow Cloak. Uh, kills will stealth the user for four seconds. I'm an invisibility shotgun man? Hmm. Looks like it breaks pretty quickly, though. Chat, we fucked up. Well, I, I mean, I am Carman San Diego, but, like, I should have named myself John Cena. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, well. Hindsight, eh? Let's upgrade the shotgun. Let's increase its optimal range. Go into the power mod. Which is all of the things I can put on that. So I'll put this on my helmet. And I'm going to repair my armor. I've already increased my health. And then over here, there's this. There's a shotgun amp. Currently, I have a utility amp. Uh, shotgun reloader, shotgun pellet boost. What does pellet boost do? Shotguns reload 50%. Does that stack on all of my other reload perks? I need, I need to know how quickly I reload right now, the shotgun. Okay, so first off, it has four slugs in it. Wait, one, two seconds, Jesus. <laughs> All right, that's a quick reload. What, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, well, that is his name. Carman San Diego is even better though, because where, where in the world am I? Uh, it's fucking Mars, uh, J J Jupiter's moons apparently. So now we need to backtrack a little bit. All right, let's clear out all these. All these caves. Enjoy LP Din Din time. What am I stealing? I'm not stealing anything. Well, the lives of many demons, maybe? Does that count as stealing? Off to Valhalla space, Spaceport. There should be a working dropship around here. A shot Somewhere. fun build in uh, Jupiter Hell. When I arrive, uh, I'm already reloading at 0 0.02. Um, well, one, I'm playing on medium, so it's not hard. Uh, but I started off with reloading. 
I love a maxed out reloader and then grabbed Army of Darkness. If I was playing on like hard or nightmare, I wouldn't be able to go that quickly into it, but. And now I just have a stupidly strong shotgun that has three slugs in it. Or four four bullets. God, it's the going invisible thing that's ridiculous. Doing good, UDK, yourself. You're a old school roguelikes person at all. Oh, also, there's still poison everywhere because I opened up all the valves on those last two floors, so this level's full of poison. There is also a way that you can just walk into this level and then push a button and mind control every single unit or every single robot on this map, which is real fun when that happens. No room. There is also a, um, a particular combination of perks that can allow you to kill an entire level by pressing one button, which is pretty great. And I don't actually think I need this much ammo for the shoddy. That, on the other hand, I do need. Not, you not played roguelikes at all, TBH? Well, this is a good one to start on. I don't know. I'm just trying to sell people this video game. It's only eight bucks. Shotgun backstep. Yeah, it's kind of nutty, isn't it? Uh, I could just unlock the hangar. There's a boss on this floor, although he's pretty derpy. Man, I just like clipped him with a, clipped one of them with a bullet and just insta give both of them. I think these guys all died to poison. How sad. Anyways, it's for the best. They had it coming. God. So the other thing about um, Shadow Cloak and the named items, the green items specifically, is they level up. I'm carrying too much shit. So as they level up, they increase in stats. Yeah, so I've unlocked Hanger. They had it coming. They deserved it! They asked for it! Oh, hello. Got him. Oh, hello. Got him. I'm only this strong because of, um... Oh. Hey, Pion, thanks for the 41st month. I'm only this strong because of the Army of Darkness. Otherwise, these guys would be, like, harder to take out, especially with this weapon. Where's the fat guy? He's not in the middle. Oh, he's, he's still hiding. He's shy. This guy. Calsec Warden. Look at him. He's so cute. Uh. Ow. Ouch. Ouch. Just gonna hit him again. It's like I'm sitting here trying to dodge these. Out of ammo. Reload. Gotta reload. Mm. Slap the shoddy. That's faster. No fucking room. Use those off the ground. What's this? AV2 utility amp? No, thank you. Uh, we played Dwarf Fortress up until about 60 minutes ago when I launched this. Um, not when you're as strong as I am right now. The Warden was is kind of a joke at this level. I mean, if you hit him too hard, he, he like, turtles and then fires out rockets, which in theory is scary, but, like, in actual practice, when you're killing him this fast, it's like, eh. Turns out muscle memory for this video game has kicked in, so I'm just running on automatic now. 
I used to have to think while I played this game. Now I just rip and tear and demons explode. Can I read the big med kit? What can I drop? I think I have one. We're good. Off to Europa. Slow and insidious? You mean an extraordinarily quick and sudden killer. <laughs> it's usually how these go. It's quick and sudden. Right when you least expect it. Right when you least expect it, suddenly you're dead. And it's like, oh! Let's see what they're hm. really doing here. I can't see shit. Actually, the, the real important question, Epion, and I think I know the answer to this, and I'll probably be sad, but were you able to get Mark Mirback to do more voice lines for uh, Jupiter Hell Classic? Or is, or have we just become a silent protagonist? Boom. Bitch. This is, in fact, turn-based, yes. It, um, it's a timeline system, so when I move, time shifts forward. Silent protagonist, Sedge. I should just make me a rocket launcher, shouldn't I? That or a better helmet. What do I have for a helmet? Yeah, it's just a basic helmet. Let's, um... Grab me a marine helmet. What did it give me? Silent dampener. Significantly reduces range of being detected by scent. That is the most roguelike perk I've ever seen. It's okay, they'll hear me. Who's Easy starter floor. Let's throw this on the helmet. Increase a, increases range of weapons by one. Mm, sure. It's just a machete. No fucking room. No fucking room. Not gonna use those smoke grenades. Who am I kidding? You just had to use an e-bike with a broken headlight at night. That is the most 2024 thing I've heard in a while. We have e-bikes around here that you can rent, but they are a Carry lot more expensive than that. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that brand. The ones we have here are blue, but they're made by Lime. But they're like three bucks just to unlock them. And they're also super uncomfortable and not great. It's a pistol I don't want. Chaos Biolabs. Ah. We can make the robots go haywire there. The workshop in level six. Europa dig, dig zone requires a multi-tool. Europa ruins has a fancy marine armor, which is useless to me. Okay. Recon. I might go to Kanamara Biolabs. But again, I can't remember what the puzzle is there. Oh, okay, that's not too bad then. I'm not a big fan of the, the bikes here, just because the places you're allowed to park them are too far apart and not convenient enough, and they're slower than my bicycle. I can ride my normal ass pedal bike, um, faster than I can ride one of those e-bikes. It is one of the permanent resistances, but I can't remember what you actually have to do to get it. <laughs> but it's also been a while, so I think that's where I'm going to go.
There you go. Such a good perk. Them just not being able to see you at all is great. Holy shit, that's a busy room. Man, I don't even have any dodge yet. Um, I'm kind of just cranking into um, Tough as Nails, which is just, you know, giving me extra damage resistance, essentially, because it just gives me extra armor. Oh my god, that's a really packed room. Okay. You mean 100% less free marketing? I think that's what you actually mean, right? Is it Jupiter Hellenius to wish list if we don't own it? Uh, it's that one, yeah. Weave. Kind of wish this armor would charge faster, but. Kind of just want to repair my stuff, but I don't really need to. I'm going to calibrate my. I don't know. I don't really need anything from that, which is a bit of a shame, actually. Blood for the blood gun. It's a different type of shotgun. It's a dual shotty. Um. Man. I don't think I need these med kits. I do, however, need more ammo. Oi, you. Repair my armor and give me your no multi tools. Even though I can't take them all because I don't have enough room in my inventory. Yeah, I am very strong right now. All right, off to Kanmara. So this map has infestation on it, which means it's full of one specific enemy type. Which means it's good that I grabbed extra ammo. There's a power pack there. Carry it too much shit. I'd love to tell you that I had a blast playing uh, Jupiter Hell, but it's been it's been installed forever, and I think your first run is still alive. <laughs> I know it went past the robot boss uh, he killed a moment ago, but uh, you, you think that your first uh, it did feel good, and you just never got more game time. Yeah, it's it's a great game, like genuinely. That slowdown is stupidly strong. What does Shadow Cloak do now? Trying to figure out what it leveled up. Because it just leveled up. Oh, okay. So stealth lasts longer and powers up quicker, I guess. I missed this riff. I really need to start stockpiling rockets. Because when I find a rocket launcher, I want to swap to one. Uh, I have 10. I can't remember what the like end of this map is at all. I also can't remember what these do. In essence, carry too much shit. You're allowed to backseat me. I don't care. 
There was a point where I did, but not so much anymore. I grew up, I guess. This is just me being super confident. Corrosive Exalted Reaver. That's mildly terrifying. Got him. Then one of them drops a pain essence on the floor. He's gonna miss. Right, okay. No, I mean, I've definitely done this before. It's just been a long time. I hate corrosive stuff. Fire Reaver's call, Claw. Cold status immunity, and any time that you damage an enemy, cold is applied. Your cold status effects are 50% stronger, but minus 100% fire resistance. That might actually be a decent trade-off. Also, that was a mistake. <laughs> like, that's actually not too bad. Then just dump it at the end of this floor, or at the end of Europa, rather. Once you're once I'm done with the boss. If I wanted to watch someone without some level of content interaction, you'd go into that. Yeah, true. There we go. Level 10 is when I get the next level of this. Plus three armor and pain doesn't affect accuracy. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I'm just gonna dump the frag grenade I have. Got enough crowd control already. No fucking room. All right. Nine or twelve? Are you, if you're asking me, I don't know. It's a lot. I, I remember it being, like, now that you're meant, now that you're talking about it, I remember it being a good large number. Also, let's go release the pain essence once um, this ad is done. Hello, deep space. How was you? Hey, chat room. If you guys want to help out a cool game, you should go wish wish list Jupiter Hell Classic. Also, apparently, um, Odd Realm is hitting 1.0 out of early ac out of early access next week, which is kind of crazy. So that will be another game that I need to stream. And for reference, That can be found right there. I remember now why I don't like this floor. Fucking reload already. Okay, they're coming for me. Are they bleeding? That's just pain. That lightning bolt is the pain essence, if I'm not mistaken. Fucking ammo, reload. I think that was the pain essence. Pain essence. Conmara Chaos Pain Essence. The little lightning bolt reload. I picked up. Okay. That was a lot of ammo. It's okay, there's some more over there. Need to get rid of some shit. 
but uh, I'm doing good. Deep space. It's been a pretty solid stream today. No massive complaints. I mean, I'm sure I could find something to complain about if I thought about it for a bit, but today's been pretty good. Thanks for hanging out, Gazoom. We'll see you on the flip. Normal stream tomorrow. I will be streaming on Friday too, but it's going to be a short stream because I have an appointment at 2 p.m. So that, that'll be a pretty short day, whatever we end up doing that day. On to level two of bio labbies. Okay, no uh, modifiers on this floor. I'm grabbing your first, oh, there you go. If I feel inspired, I might do the same. Yeah, I'm a fucking hoarder, okay? Thing is, with uh, Shadow Cloak now, I feel like I'm wasting it half the time when I use it on a not completely optimal enemy. I gotta say, the slowdown on them, plus the speed that I can reload is ridiculous. Because I can reload so fast and they're also moving at half speed. So like, get fucked, I suppose. Factoria is way too addicting. This is a known fact, yes. It's a locked door that I can unlock with a switch. Ow. It does take out my armor alarmingly quick. Which is bad, because I can't let this armor break. If this armor breaks, then... I'm a failure. I won't be able to call myself a gamer anymore. Not that I ever really did in the first place, but you know. I thought that the unique armors can. Hmm. I must be misremembering then. Yeah, I mean, they lose all resistances. It's just like a big empty block in there. It's like, what is inside of that wall? Probably nothing, but... All right, well, I got a switch to flip. Do I need more than one pain essence or just the one pain essence? Okay, so vault is now open. Oh, maybe there's another one in there. Wait, okay. So now none of them can see me because one of the first things I shot was that droid and it put out a smoke screen. Which is kind of great. Just instantly eliminating these rooms. Like, I haven't felt this strong even on, like, a medium run in a long time. Yeah, it's this thing. I got a punch. The fire essence. Yeah, huh? Oh, this will be bad. I'm ready to turn into burning cinders. It's actually fire forest fire season here, so... That's the one I need. Oh, great. That's not good. It's okay. Still alive. Fortunately, I'm just one-shotting them. I have very bad fire resistance right now. By that, I mean I literally have none. All right. That's that clear. And now I've got the fire essence and the pain essence. 
getting there, chat. Gotta hurry. So how many hours have you put into Factorio in the last... Since you've been playing Factorio recently, SCJ? Because you say it's way too addicting. How far down and far gone are you? Oh shit, I'm in lockdown. I have 13 multi-tools. I'm gonna cancel the lockdown. Because I really, 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 really don't wanna have to deal with that. There's the exit that we'll need to take eventually here. Although one problem I have with this build is if I run out of ammunition, I'm fucked. <laughs> Basically. Maybe I should just grab army surplus. Only ammo boxes are affected. All boxes are affected. Uh, you've got connections that make uh, extra ammo for every bot and every box for wielded weapon. Yeah, okay. We'll have to get that next. And also pick that up. Packs. Because if you're like, yeah, I played the game for 20 hours in the last two weeks, I'll be like, rookie numbers, coward. And you claim that you are addicted. You haven't even quit three jobs yet. To play more of the video game. This could be a real shit show. That's rude. Fortunately, my shotgun is stupid. Like, really stupid. What is that? You know what? I have no ammo for it. What, in Jupiter Hell? Or Factorio, Epion? <laughs> 1,200 hours? Oh boy. Where's the last two weeks? Uh, usually you just look at your Steam profile and it says that's what you've been playing. Oh, okay, we're, they're talking about Factorio. 112, 16 hours, that's not even a part-time job, come on. Rookie numbers. I mean, I have 449.8 hours. I have six hours in Factorio. Total. Ow. It's pretty good. Have you won Marine? I think I'm keeping my powered up helmet. I increase my health. That's what I'm gonna do. This is an easy area to defend. These guys aren't so bad. There's the blood essence, the little lightning bolt on the ground. Grab that. Now I think we can just clear the rest of the floor because I'm pretty sure everything's dead. You've seen way more. Well, that's good. Although most of your time is probably spent in dead environments. I like, think you've spent more than 893 hours developing this game. So I think you get a pass. Like, you get dev cred or whatever. <laughs> you 
Yeah, what's the most hours you've seen in the game, actually? Fortnite games with your friends? Have fun with the fork knife. Somebody I know was having some um, stability issues with his um, with, with his Intel CPU, and it was causing Fortnite to crash. And he got banned from Fortnite because of it. And then reached out to Fortnite. They're like, "That's not right." I just remember this as being the place with the guaranteed backpack drop. That's what this place was back in my day. So I get into this area, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna get a backpack. Like extra ammo I can carry now. But now it's got like all this blood essence stuff in it. It's a good thing though, it's a good change. I've seen over 2000s. For some reason I expected that to be higher, but that is still pretty high. I mean, I've got, like, what? I played every single version of this game. At least that was publicly accessible. And I have, what, 450? So. Man, when things lead me into arenas, I get nervous. I'm gonna spend a lot of multi-tools. This is true. I'm also gonna hopefully get some more multi-tools so I can repair my armor. All right, when are you gonna try and fuck me, game? I know you're gonna do it. There it is. Hey, chat. It's a toxic reaver. I'm sure you've seen those on Twitter. Bio Reaver. It's the Fire Reaver I'm not looking forward to seeing. Just gonna stand here behind this pole. What are you gonna do? Just waiting. The Toxic Reaver there. I'm immune to that. Arch Reaver, those suck. Cause they have corrosion if I'm not mistaken. Fortunately, I was able to take those out real quick. Quote some never before heard stats. Never before heard stats. Oh no. Uh -huh. 762 slot rifle. Kind of sitting here going like, all right, so. Retriever's claw. I'm going to keep what I have. All right, through the gate. Absorb pain essence. Acid. Okay, so I didn't get an acid essence. But. Also, it looks like it's literally just like nine that it uses. So this gives me burning immunity. This one gives me. Pain, uh, r removes pain accuracy penalty, which actually I think that's not worth it. Because don't I already have that through something else? And then this provides bleed immunity. Because don't I already have pain immunity? Wouldn't that just be giving me more pain immunity? Pain doesn't affect accuracy if I level up Tough with Nails one more time. 
So... Isn't that kind of null? No, oh, okay. I'll trust you. Pain accuracy uh, penalty negated, bleed immunity, burning immunity, poison immunity. And I also currently have Cryo Reaver's Claw. I don't know what that means because it's like, apparently I have 100% fire rate resistance, but I also have burn immunity. <laughs> like, are those not the same thing? All right, game, you gonna try and kill me now? Vaguely remember this. So I'm not getting experience from these. Which would lead me to think that I should just run. Seventy nine thousand what players have died since then? That's pretty good. Oh no, I am getting experience. Okay, never mind. Well that guy gave me experience. These ones aren't. Hmm. There we go, that's the thing I needed. Reserved the exalted essence. And I, I must return. I must go back. A fucking man. It's a little bit annoying that they don't give you XP. Oh. So what do I do with the exalted essence then? What's up, Lorenz? Needs more multi-tools? But I have, I, I mean, okay. Oh, I see. It listed itself. I get it. I didn't, I, I thought it was the ones I already claimed. Exalted Essence Attunement provides 20% more damage. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm too fucking strong now. As if I wasn't strong enough already. I barely take damage as it is. Only problem is ammo is gonna be a problem soon. The only problem is ammo. <laughs> you're a scrub player and you're reflected in these stats. Well, I'm certainly not reflected in the... Uh... UV wins. I have a question. Why don't you why don't you surface these stats anywhere? Like on a website or something. And host if hosting is expensive is the reason, then yeah, I get it. <laughs> Oh, you're using built-in Steam tools. Got it, got it, got it. I was wondering if there's like an API somebody could pull from there and like put it into like a, like an Obsidian instance or something. All right, upward we go. Doo -doo. Europa Labs.
I was worried about running out of multi-tools. I think I should stick to the shoddy. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Shadow Cloak leveled up. And I leveled up. I'm going to grab Army Surplus, um, which basically is going to make it easier for me to keep finding the ammo I need. And also, there's a rocket launcher right there. There's a rocket right there, too. So, I'm going to do it, chat. I don't even, I don't even need guns. I have a shotgun, rocket launcher, and a grenade launcher. We're committing to the bit. This is the way, I tend to agree, yes. And I go invisible when I kill somebody with a rocket because Lamau. I guess. Wow. Fine then. My rocket missed. I am offended by the inaccuracy of that rocket. I'm pretty sure that's also the first rocket launcher I've seen in this run. With the, obviously, with the exception of the opportunities I had to print one, but... Run around using the launcher for a bit. Grenade launcher. Hmm. This guy um, used to watch me a bunch named Vadtech. He would just like spam the word grenades whenever he'd see me playing this game. He'd be like, throw a grenade! And I'm kind of sad he's not here right now. There's a workshop right there. Extra loot. Extra things to kill. Let's just do that first. And pop back afterwards. We're gonna, yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Swap into the shoddy. Oh, that's the rocket launcher. Not the shoddy. That's the shoddy. I'm carrying too much shit. Hmm. Rest in pieces, chuckle fucks. Hit him with the grenade. I did get to hit somebody with a grenade. Vadtech would have been proud. Let's put this on my helmet. Ooh, no, let's let's put this. What happens when I put uh, loading holster, auto reload when swapping to it? You know, actually, I'm gonna put the lo lo loading holster onto the rocket launcher. All right, I guess onto the grenade launcher. I put it on the wrong one. Manufacture advanced weapons, manufacture advanced armor. Why don't we um, make us a rocket launcher then? You know, I have a fancy rocket launcher. This one, um, oh, this one is a smoke grenade. So it shoots smoke um, and it increases the uh, crit. It's still slow as hell to swap to it, Jesus. Like, between the nade launcher and the shoddy is, like, less than a second, where it's one and a half seconds to swap to the rocket launcher. Just checking my med kits. Still shamefully low on ammo. I am, yes, I resist everything. Like, I have exalted essence attunement, pain essence attunement, blood essence attunement, fire essence attunement, and rift attunement. I am like, <laughs> oh, also I have that power up that makes me resistant to cold. So it's kind of negating the fire resistance that I have, but like, and I go invisible when I kill things. Like, I am a fucking Terminator. What are you going to do about it? 
I haven't used a health kit in a long time. I'm gonna die in some super unfair way that I can only blame you on. I've gotten... I've grown up a lot in the past few years, okay? Give me some credit here, dude. Let's go here. That's the way we already went. I'm trying to think, like, what could... Uh, you, uh, a, a, a bad Medusa at a weird angle could kill me. Done. Probably. Except for, like, maybe me standing on acid. I... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I basically would have to lose my armor to die. But I do the ninja stuff, so I'm almost immune to even that. I mean... I'm not really a ninja. I do go in... I do the like, smoke bomb at the ground thing every now and again, I suppose, if we call that ninja stuff, but... Okay, so now there's a boss on this level. Well. I just have to be, like, wary of those spikes, basically. That hurt, but didn't kill me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that popping up right underneath me could kill me. I'll just use the combat pack. Got him. What was that? Like, four-shotting the boss? Plus two armor and immunity from acid effects, but movement speed is reduced by 20%. I don't think that would be that big of a negative. Because I'm already just like ridiculously tough with the armor. I have escapes with the invisibility. I feel like I'm gonna die to the final boss actually. I think we're gonna take it. Take that relic. Also in an ad break, so I will wait. We will wait. Also, thanks to those of you who've stuck around for this. When different things are streamed on the channel, some people just up and leave. But uh, appreciate those of you who've stuck around. It means a lot. It really does. It's also been a long stream. You know, we've been at it now for 10 hours. I was kind of thinking today would be like closer to eight, but whoops. <laughs> You returned from sleep. I hope you had sleep that was good. Congratulations on your successful sleep. You joined Cousin streaming direct Jupiter Hill? Uh, totally, but like we had 210 people here earlier. So. We have lost like a good number of people, but it's okay. Because we know who the real fans are. All right, we should be through the ads mostly, so I will continue. I don't even need that smoke grenade. Ow. I'm also going to real quick use a multi-tool and just repair all my stuff. You like when I play different stuff? Oh, me too. Need that for later, possibly. This may also, also, and now that I'm real thinking about it, I haven't seen any of the changes made to um, Dante. That's kind of creepy. Because that was the last major update, right? Give it to me. AV1 auto amp. You think I'm stupid enough to take that? Is 
Sometimes you find a game you like. Yeah, no, totally. But I am aware of the prison I have put myself in, DS. Need to reload. It's fine, though. See you in hell, fuckers. See you in fuckers, hell. Heal, damn it. I know. Working on it. Okay. So. Two zones down. Stinks like rotten meat. Two to go. But it looks like the lost IO base. Looks like the lost IO base. Just gonna hit the wait button for a bit. Let them sort out their disagreements. Wait. Did I just get the stealth because something... What? Do you see that? Thing just flew across the map. And died to his absurdly unfair mechanics. Do you think I could kill him? Or do you think I'll die? If you think I'll die, I'm I'm good, actually. What is going on here? Uh, this is where the enemies start killing each other. But they also get a lot stronger. I've advanced to level 12. Now the big question is, I I I, I dump the 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 grenade launcher now though, don't I? And then I pick up a beam or a plasma shotgun. So what what do you say about my build? I think WizKid might actually be really good. Move speed is king. Yes, yeah, I'm pretty slow. I think we'll just go for the normie boss then. Although I, I just kind of accept that there's plenty of things in this game that I've never seen that I never will see. Let's just do WizKid. Just let me put more upgrades on this shotgun. Yeah, I'm a fucking hoarder. Okay, okay so I'm going to go into my inventory. dump that because I don't need that and I'm going to dump the drum grenades and I'm going to start picking up this stuff and I'm going to pick Time you up for some high tech melting. God, I'm so slow you still go through the branch without visiting the special level see you're setting yourself up for the thing that you referenced earlier. Let's <laughs> grab a bulk pack. That's what I want. Auto loader. I want auto loader on the rocket launcher. I'm just going to go extract that last one. Four sixteen a.m. This is that true. Takes care of this area. I don't know. I'll say it's your call. If you want me to try going through that through a, a branch I've never seen before, I'll do it. I'll take it slowly. We'd probably be okay. Right. I've never seen that before. A pyro watcher? It doesn't even have a gas mask on it. How can you call it a pyro? The hell? Come on, man. It also dodged my rocket. <laughs> it's 
So I guess he sets you on fire. Fortunately, I'm immune to fire. So joke's on him. Wait. Jesus fuck. I really hate those crybots. They are mean. Like, mean. I also really need to try the plasma shotting. Let's just swap you to two. Seventy plasma damage, sixty pierce. Hmm, I think I'm good. Rush guy. It's good to be back. Don't know how long I'll be around for, but it's good to be back. I'm hearing something moving and I'm not seeing it. Okay, he's down here. Ay, ay, ay. That's terrifying. Oh, my Christ. Ha! That's what he gets for being right on top of me. All right. Um. I'll try not to heal. Don't want to use those med kits unless I need to. Why the elite marines weren't zombified? Oh, it's almost like, you know, there's a whole conspiracy and all that nonsense. Cry lab. Holy shit. There's lore and stuff, but I let other people tell me the lore and I just shoot things and don't ask questions. It's the way Doom intended it. You are guy. There is demon. Shoot gun. Any question? Which I have a 0% chance to hit there. That's kind of funny. OG Doomed was from an era that didn't need explanations. Like, themes for games were just simply an aesthetic. It's like pick an aesthetic and run with it. That's how that shit works. And they chose metal for their aesthetic, and damn it, they ran with it. I'm just gonna wait for that fire to burn out. Okay. I may also start skipping floors around here. Reloads weapon on move. Let's just decrease that swap time. Increases off uh, half the ammo and his percentage is added to the damage. Can't pick that up. Okay, well, I can get into cover now. Kind of screwed that up a lot, but it's fine. I'm getting to that point where I'm getting a little tired. Because I have been streaming for 10 hours and 15 minutes. Seems I got them all. And when I hit this point, I start making stupid mistakes. Which is where we're at. <laughs> dumb mistake brain. Speaking of dumb mistake brain, I might just go to warehouse. Let's go straight through, straight to warehouse. Well, I mean, Doom was an RPG, sort of. <laughs> it was literally just like a faster-paced Ultima Underworld, right? That had story and stuff. So there was, like, the structure of oh, the original Doom was virtually identical to a lot of RPGs of the era. And when you are making a game like that, yeah, you're kind of expected to have some story, right? Okay. 
Now is around the time that I'm wishing I had an exit scanner. Oh my god, there's only one way out. Okay, fine, fuck you. I just don't like walking around big explodey things. Oh my shit. I hate those things. I could hear it. I was like, oh no, that's not good. Speaking of not good, good. my health bar's low. Hey chat, if you're still listening to the stream, could I get a round of beers, please? It's okay, generally my KDA is higher than theirs. Kinda just wanna reveal the map and just go to the exit, but. Something one of my favorite development things about this game's history was when it like launched with the chainsaw and then they had to remove the chainsaw because it was so broken the way the game worked at the time. And then they put the chainsaw back in. And that was a glorious day. Don't, I like shadow halls. I don't really want to go through shadow halls. There isn't enough ammunition in shadow halls. What the fuck is that room? Okay. Don't mind while I just absorb all of your damage, apparently. Who's next? Clear, I suppose. Level up the plasma shotgun with autoloader. Need to get rid of some shit. Is there anything I can drop? Not really. But I do kind of want that. Oh well. What has we here? Through out and down we go. We're into the worst floor on this map. I hate this floor. Somebody has a rail gun. That's what that green line is over there. God, going invisible there is saving my life, I think. Love when they point blank themselves with a rocket launcher. Need to get rid of some shit. No, I don't. I just need to shoot some rockets. I also need to increase my health by five. That's the broken elevator that I'm not taking. Leveled up to level 13. What does running do? It's an active skill plus 20 evasion plus 50 move. At the cost of fury. You know? That might be pretty good considering how slow and chunky I am. Hmm. Batter, okay, or I could just level up skill there. Health restored. Let's grab skilled. Oh, hello, you. You are directly in front of me, and I'm going to get hit by my own splash damage. That's not good. I'm not a fan. How about I um cancel that shot and swap over to this uh, plasma shot and shoot you instead? <laughs> Still sucks, but hey, I won. Need to get rid of some shit. Do 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 do. Remember how earlier I was like, I'm just gonna try and run through this level. Here I am, 100%ing it anyway. I don't need to do this. This is more just for my own happy feels. Uh, 
Fortunately, all the baddies are dead, so I guess that's good. It's a good day when all the baddies are dead. Unless you're the baddies. Twelve gauge auto shoddy. Thirty-six pierce. That does sixty slash. That does sixty pierce. That would be really, 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 really good. But like, I have so many <laughs> extra perks on the other one. I don't know, man. Is there a? can't deconstruct items on this floor, can I? Man, if only, if only I could de- if only this was like a weapon modifier. Would totally take that, but no. Unfortunately not today. Hurry. Security should be here soon. A lockdown in only a few seconds. Repair my armor. So, I have to either get to an exit or get to a terminal to cancel the lockdown. Carry too much shit. And that's warehouse. I'm just going to go to warehouse. See ya, exit. Too quiet. So, warehouse is really dark, chat. Also, we're getting kind of lurky. Anything you can do to keep the chat moving is greatly appreciated at this point. Can hear things dying. Okay. I feel like I'm playing a game in the Aliens universe. It's like I'm immune to fire. I still walk around it, though. It's like... <laughs> Just a normal human response. That sounded Long like a Medusa. Holy shit! No kidding, dude. 86 months. Some of my friends are hitting like the 120 months. Like people who started streaming around the same time as I did and got big. And I stayed small. It's kind of crazy. Um, you should go look up Jupiter Hell Classic. They are... Uh, Adding stuff to the original Doom RL and then making a Jupiter Hell skin for it for Steam. It's pretty cool. That's why we're back. At least for today. You got the ping? Ah, yeah, I see. You're in the Cool Kids Discord server, I suppose. Don't like that fucking sound, man. I think it already got more content. Or is get well, I mean it got it's already got a new UI. Doom the roguelike. For now. Got a patch today, as far as I know. Well that's interesting. I haven't been to Warehouse in forever. I didn't realize they highlight highlighted this room. It's kind of neat. That's nifty. AV2 dual shoddy. Hmm. That might finally be the shoddy I swapped to. This is the best room in the game, chat. Look at it. It's a smorgasbord. Need to get rid of some shit. It's all you can eat gun buffet. No fucking room. And I don't have room for no any of the shit. I'm just going to drop these energy cells. Take the shoddy ammo. I'm suddenly smelling burning toast again. Uh, to me, like, recent means, like, in the last few weeks. Uh, so in YouTube chat, Wolf uh, Deity is asking if this is the thing that used to be Doom the Roguelike. This is the spiritual successor to Doom the Roguelike, but Doom the Roguelike is getting patches again. And also a uh, premium version, which is not going to be super expensive, which is going to release on Steam in October, I think. It's in Q4, so that would be October. 
So this has slowdown, specialist, bonus damage after a kill. Uses twice the ammo though. Carry too much shit. I'm not gonna use these red key cards, I don't think. I'm gonna regret it if I drop them though. I'm gonna drop the large med kit and pick up the gas grenade. Kind of amazed that there isn't like a better helmet in here though. Eye blaster. Pierce rifle. No room. I uh, it well, it's not gonna chew through ammo any faster because the thing that I okay, so the thing that I was using before did 38, 36 shot, 36 damage per bullet. This does twice the damage. Per bullet. But it also fires twice the ammo. But I do have other guns, so we'll be okay. Although may maybe you're right. I don't know, man. Because, like, if I fire this... Yeah. Yeah. It's annoying having to shoot like four or five times per bullet, but yeah, it's probably the correct decision to just stick with the same shotgun until the end of the game. Taking a level two shoddy all the way to the end of the game. Uh, what's really fancy about this run, Ranger Rick, is the fact that I am immune to fire, immune to blood, immune to pain, and I have the Exalted Essence, which gives me 20% more damage, and I have the Art Tree versus Carapace, which gives me extra armor and immunity from acid effects. I'm not immune to cold currently. I was for a bit though. Yeah, I'm a fucking hoarder, okay? This is Jupiter Hell, yes. And I'm skipping floors now. What does lockdown mean? It means bad things were about to happen, which is why I was leaving. Speaking of nicer helmets, look, it's a nicer helmet. It's not actually that much better, though. I think I'm just going to keep all of the perks that I have. Fucking these things are creepy, man. It's also uh, on the deepest sale it's ever been on right now. Been gone the last couple hours. Well, I've been playing this for about two and a half. I've actually been taking this run pretty slowly. Oh my God. Get out of my face. That's rude. Shouldn't walk around with a rocket launcher equipped while it's inside. Just a, just you know, a rocket launcher safety tip for anybody. <laughs> Keep the shotgun equipped. That is a fancy katana. Does he lose the potential of loot? Yeah. Well, I'm too strong for this floor, so I'm just wasting supplies at this point. Like that. Really happy I'm immune to acid effects. But yeah, I, I if you're interested in this game, I highly recommend you pick it up. Because it's on the Steam Daily Deal. Hey. Hmm. Huh. I was like, eh. I'll probably just kill you one shot. Yes, I can. Turns out. Turning to the right. Is 
the floor down. It's a hyper blaster. Could probably just clear this map. This is a proper traditional roguelike. It's a uh, turn based. So I press a button and a turn happens. Um, game with no meta progression. Lots of knowledge to learn though. Lots of fun, exciting things to discover and tons of secrets and a stupidly large amount of content if you're interested in digging into it. Something strange about this place. Right, there's a boss here. I forgot. Uh, Derek Yu is behind the art of Doom, the roguelike. Didn't do the programming though. Kaiser Nike in YouTube chat. Uh, hmm. Army of Darkness level three. Um, so shotgun and launcher optimal damage. Range equals max range. And uh, I get 100% chainsaw damage. I haven't seen a chainsaw or I would grab one. I fucking love the music in this map, though. You have just enough money in your Steam wallet for it right now? Well, I, clearly you've been playing enough banana. This game is just so slick the way it plays. Oh, am I actually slow enough that those are guaranteed to do damage to me? Oh, that's mean. <laughs> I'm slow enough that I can't walk across the spikes without them hitting me. God damn it. <laughs> the stare for them now so I don't step on them. I am really slow. Like... I cannot fully explain how slow this character is. I actually managed, uh, figured out a way to completely skip this boss using certain teleporters. I'm pretty sure it still works, but I don't have the two teleportation eyeball things required to do that. Right, who's in, who's ready for invisible ninja boss? I'm just staring at my health. Sweet, I can reload without him moving, that's good. I think that was him. Yep. I'm just gonna use a stim pack real quick. Oh, wow. Didn't see which one shot. This is a bad boss to be slow. Yeah, I can't dodge him. Ah. It's okay, we got this. Go fucking ammo. We got it. Then I can use the multi-tools to repair my armor. Major Relic and Ancient Necklace grants partial resistance is there. I'm already resisting everything. Like literally everything. I can't see shit. Why would I want that? Eh, screw it. First world problems. I already resist everything. Why do I need your partial resistances to everything? Streamer luck problems. I want to kill this guy. But I don't want to cross the spikes. Although, actually, if I take this, it would kill the Archreaver's Relic. I would lose the armor bonus. And I would lose the 20% speed reduction. 
but I would gain a 50% reduction to the acid. So I think I will actually take it. Just so that I move at like decent speed and can like walk across spikes without getting impaled. Because I am way too fucking slow. Or was way too fucking slow. Those spikes made me so mad when I first played with them. <laughs> it's, it's hard to explain how mad I was, but... Because I couldn't see them at all. So now they have that little outline when they're going to go off. Hi, it's clear. Also, I should probably state this. I'm actually in the credits for this game, so I guess I'm very biased towards trying to get people to buy it. Just an FYI. All right. On to Dante. Fuck. It's hot as the devil's asshole down here. You don't think you're on IO anymore. So apparently they've changed this floor. Um. I'm scared of that. But I just heard an explosion behind me. Well, it's certainly not Kansas. So, if it's not Kansas, then it's probably also not Io. I'll close that door. A cool-ass looking door. Dante Vestibule or Dante's Inferno. Which one's the old boss? <laughs> like, I don't actually know. What, Doom, Ro Doom the Roguelike? I mean, it's... Uh, you should go look at it, mate. You should go download the most recent patch for Doom the Roguelike. Uh, that's better. That's a pistol. I actually don't really need ammo. I'm also not going to need those red car cards, so... Instead, let's just get me gas grenades. Drop the red cards, get me gas grenades. Guy was almost dead. Isn't much left on the map. They've all killed themselves. Now oh, for fuck. Ow. No room. Seems I got them all. All right. That's everything on the first floor dead. So I guess that's that's the new branch, or should be the new branch. Did you retire it or did you abandon it? But let me ask you a question. Are items that were in stockpiles when you left still in stockpiles? You retired it, okay. Are items that are still in stock, that's the thing that they've fixed. I'm, you know, I'm so, the thing is, I, I hate to break this to you, Ranger Rick. I get hourly comments about that exact issue on YouTube, and I'm so tired of hearing it. <laughs> like, it takes 90 seconds to fix a fort after unretiring it. You have to redo your jobs, to redo your nobles, bedrooms need to be reassigned and stuff. 
and you have to put stuff back on pedestals. And everybody's like, but it's unplayable! And I'm like, it takes five minutes, guys. Sorry, you just hit a soft spot. Um, let's grab me some more gas grenades. Oh, no room. there's no room in my inventory. Never mind then. Uh, in that case, I will dump some of these shells and pick those up instead. No room. Pretty stacked. Let's see if there's something useful here. Well, I'm not gonna take the chainsaw because I'm really not built for it. Well, mm, actually, I kind of. What's the upgrade on it? All right, chat, we are truly the army of darkness. I have a chainsaw. Sawed off shotgun, hand on the pump, sipping on a 40, puffing on a blunt. All right, so now I guess it's Dante Station level two. I'm not quite confident to do the uh, to do the new stuff. There are actually some random things that you can get in these zones that can just instantly kill you. Okay. I'm just gonna close this door. <laughs> Take that to mean that I won. Ooh, that hoit. It's okay, I got him. So everything's under control. Do not look at my health bar. I repeat, do not look at my health bar. It's okay, it's better now. You can look at the health bar. I'm also going to repair my armor. I mean, I need to level up to get Swashbuckler. Although, can you even get Swashbuckler on Marine? No, you can't, I don't think. That's a bad sign. If you're saying what health bar, there's a health bar? That's a bad sign. <laughs> Hate those things. Why didn't no one tell me that there was a health bar? Well, you see, it was in the manual. Jesus Christ almighty. It was in the man. That's better. I can't remember which of the barrels blow up. I need an exit. That's an exit. Let me at him. You have dried cheese slices? Ooh. What type of cheese? Oh, for fuck. Okay, I'm gonna um, tell him to have a nice day with a big old gas grenade. And then I'm just gonna do that. Okay, Mr. Creepy now dead. These guys will die quickly now, too. Yeah. Have you seen how much fucking armor I have, dude? <laughs> like, I, I literally maxed out the perk that just gives you armor. Um...
feel like Son of a Gun might not be bad. Or just the dodge. Or fury capacity, even. So it's also very salty. Ooh, it still doesn't sound tasty, though. Let's take skilled. I beg your fucking pardon? Man. See what happens. Oh. Does it let me power it up more? Oh, that repaired my armor, I think. Huh. So that's nice of it. Oh my Christ. All right, I have another gas nade. Gonna go this way. Kill the warlock. Close the door behind me. Sentinel. Deadnel. Free health. I hate, I hate, I hate these things so much. Eat a rocket launcher, my guy. Granted, I hate those more. Why am I fighting it? Back up. I thought there was only three stations. Three levels to this station. Why is there a fourth level? Oh, most of, all of this is new. All of the layouts are different, too. My old strat no working no mo. No ammo. Reload. Well, it died of poison, so that's good. <laughs> Were those arch medusas or regular medusas? Hey chat, can I get a round of beers for good luck, please? I really need it. I didn't win a run the last time I played this, so. Don't need that smoke grenade. Push portal symbol, present weapon. No room. What it? Forgotten relic of a bygone era. This ancient phase kit can be used to phase towards the continuation of your journey. Oh, so you can skip floors. Well, that's kind of cool. So wait, what happens if you use that in the last floor, though? I wonder if that's supposed to be like the surface of Jupiter down beneath me. Necrotic armor, eh? Hey? I'm sticking to the shadow cloak. All right, chat. You ready to meet Dante? I'm going to save that multi-tool for a little bit. I'm gonna 
move the chainsaw to number three. Oh my god. Did he remove the pillars? Epion, did you remove the pillars? Motherfucker, he removed the pillars. Oh no, he didn't. Whew. They're still there. All right. Let's begin, shall we? I really just want to keep him unable to see me. All right. He's bleeding, he's poisoned. Wish me luck, chat. I got lots of med kits, so I just need to keep an eye on my health. Oh my Christ. I think I'm going to mill stim. Use adrenaline. Reload. I wish this gun did more damage. Okay. Okay. He embiggens himself. I'm going to use my multi tool and repair my armor. I'm going to use a small med kit to heal. And I'm going to begin shooting. One. Two. Okay, no ammo. okay. let's reload. reload. Shoot over there. Oh my god. Fuck me, dude. Okay, so now I'm invisible. So I have four turns to fuck around. Well, not quite to fuck around, but I got one large med kit left. I could throw that down there. Move over one. Killing off the Archrievers. I'm stimmed still. Shadow Cloak is not off cooldown. I can reload. Not doing a ton of damage to him, which ain't great. I really am tired of these arch reavers. Um, okay, so I'm off of the acid puddle. I can hit the Arbinger's throne again. You can't see me. Shoot the guy that just popped out. Shoot the arch reaver. Shoot the Harbinger's throne. Heal again if I can. I do have one large med kit. All right. I'm going to swap back over the shotgun. Back up. And now I just stare at my health. Swap over to the rocket launcher. Hit him. Hit that guy. Swap back over the shoddy. Reload. Not hitting him. Okay, that's what I need to hit. Got him. But at least I'll take these demonic fuckers down with me. <sighs> it's been a long time since I beat this game, chat. Oh, 
Um, when I was hitting my stride, when I was streaming this game every Monday, um, I was beating it like an hour and 30 minutes. So, yeah, that was certainly slower than usual. Um, my time on Dante was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, I certainly didn't complete it. I mean, there's a whole new branch that I did. Uh, for me, that's about normal for the last fight. For me, that's about normal for the last fight. But apparently there's another boss. Is the boss stronger? I, I mean, I don't know. I, you're asking somebody who hasn't beat him in like a year. Easily a year since I last beat him. Well. Now you can see all my other wins. <laughs> Shoutouts to Ben Zotapen. <laughs> But, um, yeah, man, I made it to the end so many times on Ultra Violence and never actually beat it. That's going to haunt me forever. All right, chat. That was a fun win. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Go buy this game. Go wishlist Jupiter Hell Classic. It's going to haunt me until I beat it. I don't think I'm ever going to beat it, mate. Potato Coke Spaghetti. Yeah. I mean, this is what happens when you have 20 viewers and people yelling at you to name things dumb shit. <laughs> but um, I think it's time for us to call it. All right. I've been streaming for 11 hours, and I need to...